Steve, we need to let us fall, Jeff. Hello and welcome. It's Misha Amy, the crafty Kylock. But what even is a Kylock? In today's video, I'm going to be going through the word Kylock, what it means in the Irish language, a couple of phrases that it appears in. There is a lot of folklore when it comes to the Kylock or Kylocka in general in Irish folklore. So this video will just be going through the terminology and I will do a future video that goes through Kailaka specifically to do with regions and different figures and stories and so on. This particular video is also going to break off into a mini series called Gaelga Gasta, which is quick Irish, where I'll be going through different words that appear in Irish folklore and doing a little bit of a dictionary dive as opposed to a Dukas dive on them. So in modern Irish, the word Kailaka means a witch or a hag. So in any fairy tales, children's stories, a kailuk will generally mean witch. There is a folklore mythological being goddess called An Chailuk, who is generally associated with winter on Gira and also associated with the harvest, the end of the harvest specifically and a lot of other things. Again, I'll go into that in future videos. Looking at Folklore Gaelga Berla by O'Donnell, which I mentioned in one of my last videos, there's various different meanings for the word kailuk, and when coupled with other words can mean different things. So a kailuk guv or a kailuk vera can mean a nun. That could mean a black kailuk or a Mary kailuk or a kailuk of Mary meaning a nun. A kailak fasa, a kailak of knowledge, can mean a fortune teller or wise woman, while a kailak fishoga can mean sorceress or charm worker. Then lice na kaili can mean an old woman's remedy or witch's remedy, lice meaning medicine. The word kailak itself can also mention or pertain to an outshot bed. So a bed typically found in old Irish cottages that would be beside the hearth fire. Typically these these beds would have been used by generally the older person in the family of an older generation so that they could still be in the social space of the house which would be in the room with the hearth fire while still being able to rest and take it easy. In fact Kailak Nakluja refers to an old woman that will sit in the corner by the fire. A kailuk also refers to a shriveled up potato. So the types of potatoes that have gone very, very old, very shriveled up and have eyes on them that you then plant in order to make new potatoes. You can also have a kailuk iha, which is a kailuk of the night. And that has two meanings. So it can either mean an owl or a specific type of beetle, namely a death watch beetle. In general, kailuk is often used as a derogatory term for a woman. So you can have the word fishwife in English. In Irish, you can have ban esk, which would be woman of fish, or you can just simply say kailuk. In on folklore biog, which is the O'Donnell Dictionary from 1991, kailuk also means rainmaker or bringer of rain. Considering how much lore there is around weather lore in Ireland and also how Kailaka would have been associated a lot with magic and natural phenomenon, it's not that far of a stretch to think that they would have been able to make it rain. In fact, there are many stories on Dukas that tell of Kailaka either making it stormy, affecting boats in the sea or calming the weather. There's also various Kailuk related phrases in Irish. So to be a Dane of Kailuk on Ufosh would be to be making up rumours, scaremongering, telling malicious kind of stories. Scale Kailuk on Ufosh as well also relates to a big hullabaloo. So kind of making something out of nothing. I've already spoke about using Kailuk as a derogatory term towards women, but also it can be used towards men for the same way. So to call a man a Kailuk would be to call him spineless, a coward, and used facetiously, you could also say Anisha Kailuk, now my boy, or Mahu a Kailuk, 
good on you, my boy, but very much in a really underhanded way. I've already mentioned a couple of different animals and insects that are associated with the word kailak, but there are many, many more. A kailak rilla would be a tapeworm. Kailak naluha is a cricket. Kailak crown is a woodlouse. Kailak gov, as I said before, can mean a nun, a black kailak or it can also mean a cormorant. In botany, a kailak yarag can be a corn poppy, while a kailak vyog can be a bee orchid. So while there are many different reasons or uses for the word kailak, in modern Irish, it typically refers to a witch. So it's Misha Amy. I am Amy, the crafty kailak, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like the video, think about giving it a thumbs up. Please, if you haven't already, think about subscribing. And if you would like another video on Kailak in Irish folklore, please let me know in the comments. I'll get I will see you in the next video.